Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome on board Costa Smeralda. Now this huge cruise ship owned by Costa Cruises has over 2,600 cabins on board. And in this video today, I'm going to give you full detailed room tours of three of those cabins. So we're going to look at an inside cabin, an outside cabin, and a balcony. If you'd like to see a sweet cabin, then just head over to my channel and you'll find the room tour available under the Costa Cruises tab. But hey look, join me up on deck four and let's get started looking around our inside cabin today. Now, this is cabin 4119, which basically just means it's cabin number 119 down on deck number four of the ship. Now, to be honest, what I found with this cabin is that it felt much bigger than it actually was, purely due to the color palette used. It's so light, it's so airy, and it's also really, really bright in here. There's a lot of lighting, which I think personally is really, really good. Now, in terms of furniture in here, you can see that on either side of the bed, you've got these bedside tables. Now, they're open storage. It's basically just two metal shelves on either side of the bed. And on the left-hand side there, you've got one European plug point. Now, spinning around to look at what's over here, you've got your air conditioning vent at the top, followed by a pretty big mirror in front of your desk. So perfect for getting ready to go out at night. You've then got a pretty wide workstation with a lamp on the desk, really thin body to that lamp, so it maximizes the amount of space available on the table itself. Underneath, you've got one drawer that's got your hair dryer in it on the right-hand side, and then one drawer for more storage on the left, followed by your plug points under here. So you can see that underneath the desk, you've got two European plug points, and some USB as well. So pretty well accommodated in here in terms of power. Now the TV is on the side wall, but you can see here the amount of tilt that you get on the bracket is really, really good. So you can be in bed and move that TV from being stuck against the wall on the other side to being directly at the foot of the bed. So yeah, a massive win because a lot of cruise ships, the TV doesn't actually rotate around. Now over here, Let's look at storage. Now, first up, you've got this double width wardrobe. On one side, you've got a full length mirror. You've then got your life jacket to the top, followed by hanging space. And then if we go over here, you'll see your next wardrobe. Now, this is much thinner. It's definitely more of a, like a cupboard. This, you've got your pool towels in here. You've got your safety deposit box, both free to use. Air conditioning, it's either colder or it's warmer. I didn't have any issues with the volume of fans in here absolutely fine now let's check out the bathroom first of all you've got some storage on the right hand side which i was really impressed with i've never seen that in a cruise ship cabin before quite a clever use of space because that is essentially just where the wardrobe would be now coming in here you've then got this isn't marble this is just a marble effect so yeah costa isn't branded as a luxury cruise line so i think they've done very very well with these bathrooms you can see on the camera a second ago there's also a washing line in here so if you need to wash anything during your cruise that's not an issue in here but yeah look there's a look around an inside cabin down on deck number four let me know what you think of this cabin and if you'd stay in here and the next room that we're going to look at is actually just a little bit further down the hall and this will be our outside cabin of today so we're staying on deck four and this time we're going to look at cabin number 4195. Now, there's a couple of quite nice features of this cabin, one in particular, but wait until closer to the end of this run through and you'll see that for yourself. Now you can see here the cabin is pretty similar to what you'd expect from any other cruise line to be perfectly honest, but it's just a little bit more modern and some of these little features I'm mentioning, I think they, they bode really well. Now, first of all, furniture. You've got your two bedside tables here with your plug point on one side. You've then got this sofa with a reading light directly above. And then on the other side, you've just got a much bigger, longer version of what was in that inside cabin. Now, a different addition is that fruit bowl. Now, that fruit bowl doesn't move or that silver bowl doesn't move, so it's there all the time. Personally, I just use that for storing wires and whatnot when I was on the ship, so... Yeah, not sure what the official use should be, but if you're looking for a wire bowl, then <laughs> yeah, you're in luck. Now, you've got more power points over there, so you've got two European plugs and two USB. So again, pretty decent to have all that in one cabin. You've then got some open shelving underneath, followed by one drawer for general storage and another drawer with your hairdryer inside. So yeah, if you need to do your hair sitting in front of the mirror, then pretty well done. 
TV is directly at the base of the bed, which is always good, so you don't have any awkward twisting and turning to try and see the TV. And over here, you've got a full length mirror. Now that is blocked by the bed, but you do get a pretty good view. And then look at this, I've never seen this before, but this is a little mini vanity set. So I really, really love this. Now, I don't wear makeup, I don't need to do that, but I reckon that if you were going out at night and you needed to do your makeup, that would be absolutely perfect. And it also frees up that whole other side of the cabin. So yeah, really big fan of that. Costa, if you're listening, massive thumbs up. On the left hand side, you've got two hanging hooks. And then on the right here, you've got storage. Now this is identical to what I showed you in that inside cabin. But just in case you skip to this part of the video, let me just give you a quick walkthrough. You've got your hanging space on the right, your life jackets at the top, and your floor to ceiling mirror on the left hand side. Now again, identical to the inside cabin, over here you've got a much thinner cupboard, which has got a couple of different features in it that I'll take you in and show you in a second, just after we cover air conditioning. Now anyway, in here. You've got a couple of open shelves, you've then got your safe, you've then got some more open shelves and your pool towels are in there as well. And then the bathroom. Now this bathroom at first glance looks pretty similar to what you had in the inside cabin, but wait until you see the shower. I actually really like it. Boom, there's a glass wall that looks all the way out to the ocean. Now, I was very surprised to find that in this cabin. I'd never ever come across this before. It does get frosted further down, so don't worry if you are sharing the cabin. You can also see that there's a curtain on the other side there that if you are looking for a bit of privacy, all you have to do is pull that curtain over on the cabin side of the room before you go in the shower and you will be fine. Anyway, let's look at another nifty little feature in this cabin. Now behind this curtain, you have your window. Now we were docked at the time, so unfortunately I don't have an ocean view for you there but look at this little window seat. I love this, I love the thought of it, and I love the idea that in a, gen, a standard outside cabin, you've got such a good amount of options here. Like you can either sit on the sofa, you can use the bed, you've got a chair, you've got a window seat, really good. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? And let's move into our third cabin of the video. Now, we're climbing a few flights of stairs. We're going up to deck number nine to look at cabin 9005. Now, this cabin is a little bit different to a standard balcony, but if you'd like to see a standard balcony, then head over to my other videos and you'll see them on there. Now, in terms of why this is different, the cabin is identical to a standard balcony. It's just the actual outside space itself that's a little different due to the location on the ship. But I do really like this, <laughs> wait until you see it. Anyway, you can see here, pretty similar to what we've seen in the other cabins, on the right hand side here, you've got your sofa, you've got your little reading light which you just toggled on and off using the switch underneath here. On the other side, directly opposite the sofa, you've then got your workstation. So you've got your mirror, you've got your desk, you've got the same lamp that you've got in all the other cabins, and then you've got your storage underneath which consists of a couple of open shelves and some drawers. Let me take you inside. Now the first drawer has got your hair dryer inside as you'll know from the other cabins and the drawer on the left is empty. So you can use that to put whatever you need to in there. I've already mentioned the fruit bowl guys, but yeah, wire holder was perfect for me. Now plug points in a balcony cabin, you can see that you've got the two European and the two USB tucked in behind the wall there. So I really like how the cables aren't everywhere in this cabin because the plugs are relatively protected around there. Now TV is at the base of the bed. Above the bed you've got an additional light and that's got two reading lights that drop down from within it and that's the same in the other cabins too. And then you've got your two bedside tables, one on either side. Now let's move over to look at storage. Now you get the picture, it's identical. Now some might think that's quite repetitive, I think it's fantastic because it shows that whether you're cruising in an inside, outside or balcony cabin on board this class of ship, you're going to be treated the same from a storage point of view. So really, really big thumbs up from me. Over here, you've got two hanging hooks, which again, big, big win to just hang things like jackets, scarves, lanyards, whatever you might need. 
Then on the right hand side, you've got your air conditioning, so it's either colder or it's warmer. You've got your cabin insurance business card there as well. And now let's look at the bathroom. Now, this is exactly the same as the bathroom that you saw in the outside cabin. It's a little bit different to the inside because they don't have this glass wall going out into the bedroom, which I'll talk about in a second. Detachable shower head. There's also a washing line up there. So if you're looking to do some washing on your cruise, get it done and hang it up in here. No problem. Now, the glass partition here, you can see if I turn the light off in the cab in the bathroom, it makes it a little bit easier to see. But as I go down, it does fully frost. So don't worry about being seen by anyone else that you're sharing the cabin with. If you are worried about that, you can just go out to the cabin, pull the curtain close, which is on the cabin side of the wall. And yeah, you'll be absolutely fine. But look, I said earlier in this video that the balcony is a little bit different in this cabin. So yeah, let me take you out there and show you what this looks like. I actually haven't ever seen a balcony firsthand in this location. So I'm intrigued to know what you guys think. Now, first up, the door opens outwards rather than a sliding door. And look at this. So you've then got a wind protector, which I think that says it all <laughs> directly as you go out. And then you've got this massive balcony. But look, you're right at the very, very front of the ship. So this cabin would be more susceptible to movement than other cabins. So just always be mindful of that when you do book that the cabin's right at the very front of the ship and right at the very back of the ship do tend to experience a little bit more movement than those in the middle. So yeah, definitely worth bearing in mind, but a beautiful cabin nonetheless. It's worth mentioning the little silver box on the right hand side there is your ashtray because you actually can smoke on your Costa Cruises balcony. So that's it. There's your inside cabin, your outside cabin, and also your forward facing balcony cabin on board Costa Smeralda, which is one of the huge cruise ships from Costa Cruises. But what I want to know from you guys today is would you stay in any one of these cabins? Do you have a favorite? If so, let me know down in the comments and hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up Join me for more ships, click subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.